What is faith? The book of Hebrews chapter 11 answers that question for us. So we read Hebrews 11 verses 1 through 3. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good testimony. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. Well, we begin to break this down here, where it says faith is the substance of things hoped for. The original word means, according to the expositor's Greek testament, literally foundation, that which stands under, hence the ground on which one builds hope. So it's saying faith is a foundation of something. It goes on to comment this way, that is, the expositor's Greek testament makes these comments. It says it's a definition of what faith does, not necessarily what faith is. We might put it, it's a description of faith. It says, substantially, the word means that faith gives to things future, which as yet are only hoped for, all the reality of actual present existence and irresistibly convinces us of the reality of things unseen and brings us into their presence. Things future and things unseen must become certainties to the mind of a balanced life, if a balanced life is to be lived. So this substance here that it's talking about says it gives you the ability to see the unseen. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. In 2 Corinthians 9, verse 4, this word is translated as confident. In 2 Corinthians eleven seventeen, it's translated as confidence. And the same thing is true back in Hebrews 3, verse 14. The same word is translated as confidence. So, we might say, now, faith is the confidence of things hoped for. But then what about this other word, the evidence of things not seen? And that really is an unfortunate translation of it here in the New King James Version. Um, other translations and the word that's in the original here is translated in other places as convict or conviction. So, John 16, verse 8, talks about being convicted of sin. That's the same word translated as evidence here. Or Titus 1, verse 9, convicted of truth. Or convince of truth in 2 Timothy 4, verse 2. So, we put these two together. And what we have is that faith is the conviction that gives rise to to confidence. Faith is the substance, the confidence of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Because faith is not evidence of anything. What I believe is only evidence of what I believe. What you believe is only evidence of what you believe. Just because you believe it doesn't make it so. Just because I believe something doesn't make it a reality. You know, there are people who have this idea of blind faith and um, a lot of skeptics and unbelievers accuse people who believe in God, believe in Jesus, of having a blind faith. Well, it's not blind faith that people have that believe in God. There's evidence behind that. Now, so and it's, it's not my belief in it that's evidence of the existence of God. I believe in it because the evidence proves there is a God. So the universe, the orderliness of the universe, the human body, all kinds of things, the Word of God itself proves that there is a God. And, and we won't dive into all of that. But here's one thing I want you to think about. In Romans 10, 17, it says, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. The Word of God gives us evidence to believe in God, to know God, to believe in Jesus as the Son of God, the Savior of the world. See, God doesn't expect us to believe just 
to believe because somebody comes and tells us to believe. He gives the evidence of that, if you will. He gives not only the eyewitness testimony of it, but there is abundant other evidence that shows us that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of a living God. So faith is a conviction that gives rise to confidence. Now, it says here that the elders obtained good testimony. When you go through Hebrews chapter 11, it talks about different people acting by faith. By faith, verse 4, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Verse 7, by faith, Noah being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his house. By faith, verse 8, Abraham obeyed God when he was called to go out, and he went out. It's talking about action people take. So the word of God came to them and told them to do something. They did it. That's what faith is. That's faith in action. That's faith in life. That's real biblical faith. A belief in and of itself isn't necessarily biblical faith because we have to act on that belief. We have to follow through with it. We have to submit to God's will and God's command. So the elders obtained a good testimony as he's writing about in this chapter because their lives are given as examples and they're recorded by the Holy Spirit. And it talks here about the creation in verse 3. By faith, we understand the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made with things which are visible. None of us were there at creation. But we believe in creation Because the evidence that's given, we have the evidence of the world around us, the evidence of the universe, the evidence of the physical earth itself, this globe on which we live. The evidence of God's word really tells us that. Remember, in the beginning was the word or in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and God said, let there be light. Remember in Psalm 33, Psalm 33 Here's the evidence that gives us conviction that leads to our confidence. In Psalm 33, verse 6, By the word of God, or by the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. In Psalm 33, verse 9, For he spoke, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. See, the word of God framed the world, as Hebrews 11, 3 says, and made them so that the things which are seen are made of things which are not visible. We we talked earlier about the idea that the faith makes something that we don't see a reality or something we don't yet possess as a reality. We didn't see the creation, but to us, it is a reality. Not because it's a fanciful wish, but because the evidence points to that and we reach a logical conclusion that this universe and all things in it were brought about and created by a divine intelligence, an all-powerful God who made the heavens and the earth. So faith is a conviction that gives rise to confidence based on evidence given by God.